Good evening, welcome to the press conference for Rafael Nadal. Please raise your hand, state your name and organisation when asking your question. Uh, Rafa, just very tough match. Give us your, th your thoughts on the match. Yeah, thank you. Well, of course, um, emotional match, important victory. Uh, yeah, happy for 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 that. And uh, well, let's see. Rafa, Rob Moore from The Sun. In the second set, your dad and your sister were seen uh, gesticulating you know, telling you to get off centre call. I'd like to know, was that telling you to get a medical timeout or were they telling you to quit the match because of a, a prior injury? No, they told me that I need to retire to, to retire the match, yeah. Uh, well, I tried. For me, it was um, tough to retire it. Uh, in the middle of the match, not easy. Even if uh, I had uh, that idea for uh, such a long time, uh, but in the other hand, uh, I did it a couple of times in my tennis career. It's something that I I hate to do it. Uh, so I just uh, keep trying, and that's it. Uh, Sudip Tobanguli from Reuters. Uh, could you talk a bit about the injury and how, uh, are you hoping to properly recover for the next match? Is it possible? I don't know. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna have some uh, more tests. Uh, but difficult to to know. It's obvious that um, you know I am not the kind of. Uh, player that uh, <laughs> I didn't have uh, a lot of things in my in my tennis career so I am used to to have things and I am used to hold pain and to play with problems uh, and knowing that um, when I feel something like I felt that is because something is not going the proper way in the in the dominal now but um, let's see uh, it's obvious that today the uh, it's nothing new. I, I had these feelings for a couple of days, but without a doubt, today was the worst day. And uh, there have been an important increase of pain and limitation, uh, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I managed to win that match, and let's see what what's going on tomorrow. Rafa Met Butterman from the New York Times. Does not having played on grass in three <coughs> years um, does that cause some kind of shock to your body in some, in, in any sense that can bring on an injury like this? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't feel that. No. <laughs> by the way, I, by the way, I'm playing great. I no, no. I'm enjoying a lot, and the level of uh, tennis. Uh, if we put away. Uh, the problems, uh, something that's difficult. Uh, the level of tennis, uh, the feeling uh, that I am having with the ball on my hand is uh, honestly uh, great. Uh, I am feeling myself playing very well, and uh, yeah, worried now, honestly, no. But uh, that's part of the the business too, no, and. Um, even if I did a lot of efforts to to play this event in in all ways, uh, no, a dominant is not is not a thing that uh, comes to play on grass. You know, uh, can happen in, in any surface. Rafa, Hi, it's Cindy Schmerler from the New York Times as well. Can can you tell us when you went off with the trainer what they did for you, and were you at that point just playing on adrenaline and emotion to finish that match? They can't do much, honestly. No, I, doctor came, gave me some anti-inflammatories. Well, anti-inflammatories or analgesics, I don't know. Um, and that's it. Uh, and the, the doc, the, the physio just tried to relax a little bit the the muscle there, but it's difficult. <laughs> Nothing can be fixed uh, when you have a thing like this. Um, that's it. No, no, I don't know. I, as I said before, I just wanted to. To, to give myself a chance, not easy to leave uh, the tournament, uh, not easy to leave Wimbledon, even if the pain was hard. Uh, 
I don't know. I wanted to finish. Doesn't matter with well, doesn't matter. No, I prefer to win, but uh, with the victory or the defeat. But uh, I that's what I did. I fight it. Uh, proud about the the fighting spirit and uh, the the way that I I managed to be competitive under tough conditions. Joseph Regal, Tennis Head. We've seen this year especially you adapt your game because of your physical difficulties with your body. A few years ago, do you think you might have lost today's match or perhaps given more consideration to retiring given how your game has now changed in that you feel, you know, you can somehow still win when you're serving 90 mile an hour first serves? I don't know. Uh, depending, uh, I won because I I played I, uh, very good from the baseline. Because uh, of course uh, <laughs> I didn't win because of the surf. <laughs> it's, it's obvious. <laughs> so uh, after say that, uh, I think uh, unfortunately or fortunately I I, I was uh, I was able to to manage uh, to improve and to adapt to the circumstances uh, that my body uh, presents to me to, to to keep being competitive under any circumstances. No? So uh, I was able to to improve my tennis uh, depending on the needs. So something that I'm, I'm happy with. Hi Rafa, uh, Simone Eterno, Eurosport Italy. Um, first of all, congratulations for the effort incredible Thank you. also today. Uh, in this moment, which are the chances that we can see you playing against the Nick in the semi-finals? I don't know. Honestly, I can't give you a, a clear answer because if I give you a clear answer and tomorrow another thing happens, uh, I will be <laughs> a liar. So uh, I can't. I Is that something that you have to, to, to scan to do something that already... Booked? Yeah, if something... Uh, if If I... If I already decided something, I will not be here and do any any show and say something that I tomorrow I say another thing or or not. So um, if I'm here, it's because the, I am honest and I I don't have a decision and the decision at the end all the decisions are a player decision. But at the same time, I need to to know uh, different opinions and I need to check everything the proper way. No. That is uh, even something more important than <laughs> than win Wimbledon. That is uh, the health, and uh, let's see how this is going. Thanks. I'm afraid we don't have any more time for English questions. We're going to switch to Spanish questions now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.